Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the Easy Flash 3. I just got this in the mail and uh, pretty excited to try it out. If you haven't read anything about the Easy Flash 3, uh, it's a cartridge that actually allows you to program fast loaders, different kernels, uh, cartridge images, and uh, you can actually build compilations of cartridges onto it. You can store a lot on this thing. So first thing I want to do is just uh, power it on, see what it looks like, and then uh, see if I can get the Super Snapshot version 5 image onto it. So let's throw it in. Commodore 64C. I have a Pi 1541 hooked up to it, and I also have the 1541 2 drive hooked up to it, and uh, currently connected to the 1702 monitor. So there's the main screen of the Easy Flash, and you can see it's allowing me to select uh, 64 kernel version 1, 2, or 3. And it's also got the SX64 kernel in there by default, which is kind of neat. Uh, if you haven't seen the SX64 kernel before, it actually has a different color scheme. And uh, I did a little bit of reading about it, and it's a little different than the 64 kernel. It actually uh, has a couple kernel subroutines that are different. Uh, the big thing is that it has no support for a tape drive because there's no tape drive port on an SX64. Um, it also has some other subtle differences like allowing you to poke to the screen memory uh, so that when you reset the colors are as you've configured them. Uh, however, it sounds like that is actually possible with the version 3 of the 64 kernel as well. So the first button on the left here is the reset button or actually it's the uh, brings you into the Easy Flash menu. So if I was to select 3 for uh, version 3 of the 64 kernel, then I can hit the far right button to do a reset anytime I want to. So it's nice having a soft reset. You don't have to flick the system off and back on. But uh, And then the middle button is the freezer, but I don't currently have any freezer images in there. Uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the super snapshot image in there. Uh, the button on the left is the Easy Flash menu, so you can bring that up at any time. Um, so these are your, your kernels, these are your freezer cartridges, uh, images you can put in there, and then these over here are where you can put uh, anything of the general purpose, uh, cartridge images, etc. So let's load the snapshot image on here. So we'll take our SD card from the Pi. Stick it in our SD card adapter and put that in the system. Mount that. Okay, so we have in this directory uh, a bunch of cartridge images, uh, including all the super snapshot cartridges. We're going to go with the latest version 5.22 of the cartridge. And uh, because our 64 is an NTSC version, We'll go with the NTC, NTSC version of the cartridge. And we also need to select the .bin file, not the .crt file. Uh, I tried flashing with a .crt and it uh, did not like that. It seems to want the .bin files. Um, the other thing is the Pi 1541 allows you to browse the SD card and see files that are on there. And from the Easy Flash 3 cartridge, you can actually see those files in the directory, but if you just try to do it that way and select the file, it seems to crash at that point. It wants the files that you're gonna flash to be inside a disk image uh, so that the Pi is running in emulation mode. So what we need to do is create a disk image. So uh, we're gonna use the C1541 command this utility is part of the Vice emulator package, and it's a great utility. Allows you to manipulate uh, D64, D71, D81, etc. Images, uh, disk images. So we'll create a new disk, and we'll call it 
call it SS V5.22 NTSC. We'll give it an ID of five, and the type is going to be B64, and we'll give it a file name of SS522.B64. So there it has formatted a new disk. Now we can use the C1541 uh, attached to the file SS522.D64 and lists the contents. So now you can see we have an empty image here, uh, 664 blocks free. So now what we want to do is put that cartridge image onto it. So we'll attach the D64 again, and then we'll use the write command to write this bin file that we want onto the disk. And the target file will be called ssv 522 the bin and I always use lowercase in the name of the files I'm going to write to a disk so that when you look at them on the 64 they're going to show an uppercase uh, if you were to use uppercase already here then they'd show on the 64 as shifted characters they'd show up in Petsky so if you use lowercase then they'll be readable in uppercase so there you go writing super snapshot uh, as ssv522.bin. Now if we relist the contents of this disk, we can see that we have a file on there now uh, with our cartridge image. So uh, now we want to copy this D64 image onto the SD card and I have a directory already created for C64 cartridges, uh, utilities. So we've put that on there. Now I'll eject the SD card and we'll go back to the 64. All right, so we'll take our SD card, put it back in the Pi. Turn the Pi on. We'll turn on the 1541 too since it's also on the chain. We won't need it, but uh, uh, then we'll turn the system on. And that brings us to our Easy Flash menu. So I'll just select uh, kernel number three and we'll load up the FB64. And we will run that. And so we need to find that D64 that we created with the snapshot cartridge image on it. There it is. So you can see it's got our bin file on here, so we'll just quit. Uh, we'll go into the Easy Flash menu with the left button. We'll pick P for the Easy Prog Utility, and that's what you use to program um, new kernels, uh, new uh, freezer cartridge images, and, and other cartridge images. So P. Thing. Hasn't done that. On, I'll try that again. There we go. Easy Prog version 1.7. Okay, so in the menu at the top here, uh, we'll go down to write SS5 to flash. Five. And uh, so we're seeing the directory on our disk that we created, and we'll select the ssv522.bin file. This will erase the current flash content. Are you sure? Yes. So there we go. It's flashing the snapshot cartridge image onto Easy Flash. So this does take a while. I will fast forward a little bit here.
right. Congratulations. Writing to flash complete. So we will just reset the easy flash. And you can see now we have uh, S for Super Snapshot 5. Let's try it out. Yeah. So this functions pretty much exactly like if you actually had a Super Snapshot cartridge. Um, hit F7. Uh, turbo V5, so of course you've got your wedge and um, you've got all the utilities. Uh, the middle button becomes what would normally be the button on the snapshot V5, so that's your freeze cartridge button. So it lets you access all the utilities. Uh, you could create a snapshot, uh, test snap. So it takes a snapshot of memory, dumps it to disk. You could reload that and resume where you were uh, later. That's great if you want to save a game or something like that. Or even if you were programming and you wanted to save the current memory state before you did something uh, in case you wanted to go back to that spot. It's got uh, a monitor utility in it. Terminal program, uh, drive utilities, a copier. Um, yeah, you can take a screenshot. The game master is actually pretty cool too. Swap joystick ports, uh, sprite kills. Great if you want to cheat at a game, walk through your enemies. Auto fire, infinite lives is kind of neat. What it does is it uh, checks. Uh, it asks you how many lives you have now, and say you told it three, then it would go through memory and find the variables that have value three. Uh, then you go back and start playing a game, and then when you die, you jump back into the cartridge and tell it, I just died, now I should have two, and it figures out which variable just decreased from three to two, and then it puts in your uh, infinite lives by keeping that variable from decreasing any further. Um, utilities, like say, uh, you can enable or disable your fast loaders, your wedge, that kind of stuff. Um, this directory. Anyways, lots of cool stuff. Monitor is great if you want to see what's going on. Uh, has a terminal program built into it. So anyways, uh, let's restart the Pi and we'll try loading uh, a big game. I know one game that takes forever is uh, Impossible Mission so let's try that one out. Let's reset the system here. Super Snapshot. Uh, so we'll go delete. Um, so we can use our wedge now. P64. We'll go find the impossible mission. 64 discs. the FP64 and back in the snapshot it's one thing I found about it when you first jump out of FP64 it's like it's disabled the wedge and fast load and stuff on the snapshot but of course if you hit the far right button is just reset the system, but when you've got the snapshot installed, it resets it as though the snapshot was in, remembers that it's in, so then you just jump out of this again. And then you can use your Commodore Run Stop to load. So it is significantly faster. I mean, that would have taken, I, uh, 
I haven't timed it, but I think it's well over a minute to load. Here we got sound. Yeah, I don't have a joystick plugged in, but it seems to work good and uh, pretty happy. I'm going to have to try out some of the other utility cartridges too that, uh, you know, growing up I had a Super Snapshot cartridge, but uh, I didn't have any of the other ones, so um, I have to try some of those out and, and uh, also try making some compilations of cartridges to put into the, the other slot, so that'll be a future video. Thanks for watching.